Hello, very good day to you. Summer is almost here and the weather's going to start to feel a bit more summery as we head through the end of May and to the beginning of June. Currently, the jet stream is running well across the UK and that's why there's a changeable, unsettled theme. However, as we go through the next few days, the jet stream is going to shift its way a little bit further east and northwards. And that means that we're going to end up on the slightly more southern side of it and less influenced by it because high pressure will be building instead. And that's going to settle our weather down as we go through the end of the week and into the weekend. That being said, because of the position of this high and it could drift a little bit further westwards again as we go towards the end of the weekend, we are at risk of seeing a couple of fronts maybe toppling over the north of it. And so that could bring something a little bit cloudier, wetter, a bit blustery perhaps towards northwestern parts of the UK as we go through Sunday and into next week. But I'll have more on that in a second. First of all, though, let's look at what it's going to do as we go through Thursday morning. So a bit of a showery picture for many areas, some thicker clouds, some outbreaks of more persistent rain towards eastern parts, but for many it's showers that we need to watch out for. Some of them could still be quite heavy, perhaps the odd rumble of thunder. There will be some bright sunny spells, but a bit of a chilly feel, a bit of a fresh feel for late May because there will be a northerly wind and it could be quite brisk at times. And so, yes, in the shelter, in any sunshine, it should reach highs of around 18, 19, possibly 20 Celsius, so not feeling too bad. But in the breeze, a bit of a chilly feel, like I said. As we go through the evening overnight, most of the showers are going to clear away. So it is going to be mostly dry, perhaps holding onto a bit more cloud and some further outbreaks towards far eastern parts, but further west, some clearer skies could allow temperatures to dip into single figures in some more rural spots, but many places holding up just about in double digits. As we go through Friday itself, then yes, cloudy towards the east, outbreaks of rain continuing here. Some of them could be a little bit on the heavy side and the onshore flow here is going to make it feel fairly chilly. But towards the northwest here, a greater chance of seeing some decent sunny skies, just a few showers to watch out for here and there, but most places away from the east of England having a largely dry day. But yeah, a northwest southeast split when it comes to cloud amounts, generally sunnier towards the northwest. And with the sunshine then where you catch it, it should feel relatively warm, high teens, low twenties, that kind of thing. But under the thicker cloud and with that breeze that I mentioned towards the southeast, it is going to feel a little cool for the last day of meteorological spring. As we go into the start of summer and towards Saturday, we have this high pressure then continuing to build. It's this high pressure that's going to lead to the largely fine weather towards the west on Friday, and that's going to gradually push its way eastwards as we go through Saturday. So most places having a fine day. Still, the potential for a bit more cloud and perhaps some outbreaks of rain across southeastern parts of England, but I'm not convinced as to how much rain we're actually going to see. But nonetheless, it does look cloudier here, so a slower improvement to the fine weather as we go through the weekend. But sticking with the northwest southeast split in terms of sunshine amounts, so sunnier across Scotland, Northern Ireland, Northern England, parts of Wales and southwest England, a bit more cloud towards the southeast, there are a few showers dotting up on the graph behind me, but you really have to try quite hard to get any showers to develop. So any we do see would be pretty isolated and light and short lived, so shouldn't cause too many problems. Temperatures, well, they are going to be around average for the time of year, so feeling warm in any sunshine. As we go through into Sunday, and like I say, the high does drift a bit towards the west a little, and that does allow for something to try to push its way into the northwest. So I think on Sunday, it's a slight reversal in fortunes in terms of cloud amount and where we're likely to see any rain across northwestern Scotland, perhaps into Northern Ireland, some thicker clouds, some outbreaks of rain pushing their way in, and perhaps some blustery winds at times too, but towards the southeast, much sunnier on Sunday than on Saturday, and feeling warmer too, because of the fact that there'll be much more sunshine, much more blue skies, temperatures going to rise, low 20s, 22, 23, that kind of thing. A few degrees lower than this further north and west and feeling fresher too because of the largely cloudy skies. Now, uh, if we run through rainfall as we go through the next few days, and I just wanted to show you the ECMWF probabilities for greater than five millimetres of rain through Wednesday. Yes, some heavy showers across eastern parts of Scotland. By Thursday, the showers a bit more widespread, but generally focused towards more central eastern parts of England in particular. That's where we're most likely to see the higher rainfall totals. If we go ahead a few more days and on Friday, really the only chance of some major significant rain, well, majors perhaps overdoing it, but any significant 
significant rain looks like it will be in the southeast. Elsewhere, it looks largely dry, just one or two showers, but they should be light. By Saturday, and you remember I mentioned the fact that whilst there was some rain showing up on the graphics, I'm not that convinced as to how much we'll actually see in the southeast, and really the chance of us seeing more than five millimetres is negligible, non-existent. And so there could be a bit of rain, but nothing particularly heavy, and elsewhere looking dry. And then by Sunday, it's really just across the far northwest of Scotland where we could see a few millimetres of rain building up. Elsewhere, it looks largely dry. If we look at our temperatures, and this chart compares our forecast maximum temperatures for the next few days with the climatological average, and for Friday it looks like it will be slightly warmer than average across parts of Scotland, but cooler than average towards the southeast because of that thicker cloud and the outbreaks of rain. A similar story for Saturday, sticking with that cooler theme towards the southeast because of that cloud that I'm expecting to linger here, but warmer towards the northwest of the UK, and then, like I say, a reversal in fortunes by Sunday, so across many parts of England, particularly across central, southern and eastern parts, it's going to be quite a few, bit, a few degrees warmer than average, whereas towards the northwest near normal, but a little bit fresher than it will have been earlier on in the weekend. Let's look further ahead, and as we go through next week, this chart shows us the ECMWF pressure anomaly, and the pinky purple suggests that we're more likely to have higher than average pressure somewhere towards the west of the UK, with lower than average pressure elsewhere across other parts of Europe. And with that then, if we take a closer look, and this is the most likely regime for Monday the 3rd of June, and this also agrees with the idea that we'd have higher pressure or high pressure to the west of the UK, and that should lead to a largely fine picture, a similar story to what we're expecting on Sunday. So most places having a dry day. That being said, the position of this high here could still allow for some systems to topple over the north of it, and so we could still see some outbreaks of rain pushing into northern parts of Scotland. And whilst the general theme for next week is high pressure somewhere towards the west of us, and that's largely going to dominate our weather, there could still be some systems, some rain pushing through across the high, so it doesn't mean it's necessarily going to be totally dry. But if we dart ahead a few more days, and this is now the most likely ECMWF chart for Thursday the 6th of June, and it sticks with the idea of high pressure somewhere towards the west of us, but allowing for something a bit more changeable, unsettled, to push a little bit further southwards from the north, and that's because a low pressure system could be somewhere towards the north of us. And that's likely then to bring a bit more rain to northern parts. Again, some blustery winds are possible, and there is quite a bit of uncertainty as to where exactly any low pressure would track, and it could come a bit further south, and so we could see more rain pushing across other parts, although at the moment, higher pressure looks likely to be the most dominant feature as we go through next week. Another way we can show that, and again, looking at the ECMWF greater than five millimetre of rain probability charts, and you can see a chance of a bit more rain towards northwestern parts of Scotland on Monday, similar on Tuesday. But by Tuesday, there are some greens showing up on other parts of the UK, and so we could start to see a bit of rain pushing its way through, even though high pressure is going to be largely dominant. Then a greater spread in uncertainty as we go through the latter part of next week, as you would expect. Always looks like towards the northwest of the UK, you have the greater chance of seeing any significant rain, but it's a, a non-zero chance that we could see some rain across other parts of the UK, which is just the thing that I wanted to highlight here. Then the last chart that I wanted to leave you with is our meteograms for our capital cities, looking at the both the maximum and the minimum temperatures. But if we just take Edinburgh for a, for an example, and looking at the maximum temperatures, and they're a little bit above average for the time of year at the moment. But as we go through to the end of the weekend, beginning of next week, we start to see that cooler air coming in with something a bit more unsettled towards the northwest of the UK. We are likely to see our temperatures dropping. There's a fairly wide spread though as we go towards the middle of next week. So it's definitely no guarantee that we're going to see that slightly cooler theme, but the general trend is for temperatures to dip a little bit across northern parts. But now if we look further south, and this time using then London as our go-to for the 
plot that we're likely to see and something a bit cooler then as we go through Friday into Saturday because of that thicker cloud across parts of the southeast. Then temperatures really rise a bit as we go through Sunday and into the beginning of next week. But it's by around Wednesday time. Again, there's a relatively large spread in what we can expect in terms of temperatures. It looks generally near normal, so it might be a little bit above, might be a, bit, a little bit below average, nothing dramatic. But the fact that there's a relatively large spread just gives us some headaches into exactly what's going to happen next week. I think the general theme for high pressure to be somewhere nearby, somewhere towards the west of us, so a fair amount of dry weather looks fairly certain, but the fact that there could be some weather system, some wet weather pushing through at times also is something we need to keep an eye out for. We will of course keep you updated throughout, so make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Bye-bye.